Okay, today we're going to show a really common push-up mistake that we see uh, a lot in athletes who are stuck in extension quite a bit. And Greg's going to demonstrate for us. You can see he's got his shirt tucked in so we can kind of clearly see what's going on with his lumbar spine as he goes through this. So if you actually were to watch Greg doing this push-up the way that I've cued him before we actually hopped on camera here, go ahead and go down to your push-up position, Greg. So as he comes back through, do a few of them. Just kind of go right through. And if you're watching from this angle, it doesn't actually look like a bad push-up, right? Good neutral spine position, elbows at the right angle. He's not gliding his elbows too far behind his body. But if you were to actually come and watch from the top position, what you'll see is as he comes down, there's aggressive scapular retraction. They tuck together, and as he protracts up, there's not really any protraction actually taking place. Instead, it's just humeral movement, and the scaps stay right where they are. Okay, you can relax. So one of the big problems that we see is when folks don't go through true scapular retraction and protraction when they do a push-up, they're missing out on one of the biggest benefits of this exercise, and that's that it's a, it's a closed chain exercise, meaning that the scapula can move freely on the rib cage. So this is a really, really important thing, particularly for athletes who tend to be very back and down. Um, we want them to have that free motion that they don't get maybe when they, when they do a bench press variation or some other variation of pressing where they may be fixed down and back. So it's really, really important to actually get right up, monitor if those shoulder blades are sitting right together during a push-up throughout, they're doing it incorrectly, and more than likely that scapula back position is going to change how well the congruency takes place between the ball and the socket. So we want those shoulder blades to actually move on the rib cage as you go through an exercise. And it also underscores the importance of not just looking at a push-up from the side. You also have to coach from a few different angles to see what's actually going on.